know that people are voluntarily putting tapeworms inside their bodies? It's known as the tapeworm diet. It helps people lose weight by letting this parasite eat everything inside of them. But this diet can go very, very wrong. How would a tapeworm affect your body? Well, on today's challenge, we're going to find out by having you swallow a tapeworm. Think you can handle it? This is your body on tapeworms. Tapeworms are flat, segmented worms that can be as long as 25 meters. They can't live freely on their own. They need to be in the gut of an animal or a human to thrive. Animals can become infected with these parasites when grazing in pastures or drinking contaminated water. How long do you think a tapeworm can live inside your body? One week? One month? 20 years? We'll have your answer later in the episode. There are two ways to get infected. The most common tapeworm infection is called teniasis. You get this if you eat undercooked meat or fish from an infected animal. The tapeworm larvae in the animal muscle tissue would migrate to your gut. You can also get infected if you're in contact with animal feces or contaminated water from an animal with tapeworms. This type of infection is known as cystocercosis. You get this by ingesting microscopic tapeworm eggs. It's rare to get a parasite this way, but it can happen in countries with poor sanitary conditions. In both scenarios, you wouldn't feel a thing. If you have a cystocercosis infection, the eggs you ingested will hatch into mobile larvae once they've entered your intestines. They could migrate out of your intestines and infect organs other than the digestive system. But throughout your first week, it's likely you won't notice anything at all. Let's see what happens when we keep going. Let's go back to the teniasis infection. The tapeworm larva has developed into an adult tapeworm in your intestines and can be up to 7 meters long. It attaches to the inner wall of your intestines and feeds off the food you're digesting. You could feel nauseous, have abdominal pain, diarrhea, and you'd begin to lose weight. But it's also very likely that you wouldn't feel anything at all. You may find out you have tapeworms by taking a closer look at what you've produced while sitting on the toilet seat. At this stage, pieces of the tapeworm break off and exit your body via your stool. And they look just like tiny worms. Gross! Now that you've finally found out you have tapeworms, it's time to go to the doctor. If you're diagnosed with teniasis, your doctor will prescribe oral medication for one day. It would paralyze the adult tapeworm, which would let go of the intestine, dissolve, and exit your body via your stool. If the worms are large, you could have some stomach cramping when they pass. Okay, you managed to escape a teniasis infection, but what if you had cystocercosis instead? Well, if three months have passed and you haven't noticed this infection, things would get terrible. A stomach cramp or sudden weight loss would be the last thing you're worried about. That's because the mobile larvae that have migrated throughout your entire body are mature enough to form cysts in tissues like your lungs, brain, eyes, or liver. These cysts could grow large enough to crowd the functioning parts of the organ or reduce its blood supply. You could have headaches or allergic reactions. You might experience seizures in extreme cases. To get rid of these worms, you would need surgery or an organ transplant. And even after 20 years, it's still possible that 
the tapeworm could live inside of you without you even knowing. And your little buddy could measure more than 25 meters long. And if the tapeworm continued to grow, you would eventually experience a digestive problem as it blocks your appendix or your pancreatic ducts. So tapeworms are horrible and creepy and you don't want them anywhere near you, regardless of the easy weight loss. Speaking of weight loss, how about the opposite? Like gaining 300 pounds in a single year? Well, we'll see what that challenge brings on another episode of 